Just left Olive Garden and I got my tiramisu. It's a bar, it's a bar, it's a bar, it's a bar. When they play this, they gon' say that it's a bar, it's a bar. They gon' hate you when you pull up in that drive. They gon' hate you when you pull up in that nine. It's a bar, it's a bar. Bye. What's up, everybody? My name is Zoe here. Welcome back to your girl's channel. So, if you are new here, welcome, friends. Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and go ahead and make sure you turn on that post notification bell so you can be notified anytime your girl posts a video. And if you're one of my old friends, y'all know I love you and I thank you so much for coming back for new videos. So, today i am gonna take you guys outside i'm gonna take you on a teensy bit of an adventure okay um we're gonna go on the hunt to find tiramisu now i know it's random it feels random and it's because it is random but i decided to go try tiramisu because of a youtuber her name is kelly stamps so kelly stamps is a youtuber who has been blowing up really quickly um a lot of people have been watching her you youtube has been recommending her a lot so i went on ahead and subscribed to her channel because she is fun she's interesting she's quirky she don't really care about nothing she just you know she's just chilling she just be chilling being her living her life and a lot of people like how familiar she is like she just feels like your friend you know what i'm saying um but as i'm watching Watching Kelly Stamps, I realized Kelly Stamps is obsessed with tiramisu. Now, me myself, I have never tried tiramisu before, so I don't know what the hype is. But apparently, it's delicious. You know, she goes to Italy majority of the time to get her tiramisu. I don't have an Italy out here, so I'm gonna, you know, make do with what I have. But I want to know her joy <laughs> you know what i'm saying i have heard of tiramisu before i made to work at starbucks and we had a drink um that was the tiramisu latte we had a drink with tiramisu i hated the drink it was terrible i did not like it but i i'm sure it was because it was artificial sweetener i want to try the real thing apparently it's amazing and i've seen other people uh rave about how good tiramisu is so we're gonna go find out I looked up a place. I looked at Olive Garden. Um, they have it on their menu, apparently. I looked at it online. It's on their menu. So I'm going to see if I can get it from there. I also want to see if I can get it from a local grocery store, HEB. I'm not quite sure if I'm going to actually find it. But if I can get it from both places, that will be great. But I know for sure I'm going to try to get it from Olive Garden. Um, but yeah, that's it. That's what we're doing today. We're taking a little quick field trip. We're going to see if tiramisu is worth the hype because, I mean, I don't know. I, people love it. Kelly loves it. And I'm just trying to feel these people's joy. I want to know the joy of tiramisu. And we're going to find out today. <laughs> So kids, we've made it to H-E-B, but first things first, I know before I get out of the car, I gotta put on this dreaded thing, this freaking mask. Like, I hate wearing this every day. I already have to wear it for work for eight hours, and then like everywhere else I need to go, I have to wear it. But you know, these are the times that we are living in, and I want to protect myself because I don't want to die. So we're gonna be wearing our mask to protect ourselves and to help protect others. Hopefully, when we go in here, we can find what we're looking for. So, let's go on this little adventure. We gon' find some tiramisu. So, I see some cakes, but I'm not sure if they have tiramisu here. All of the cakes look delish. They even have cheesecake. I've had that before. I've had that one before. I've had that one before. I don't see any tiramisu on this side. Maybe they have it somewhere else. What's over here? Okay. Y'all, I'm not finding what I'm looking for, but I'm probably going to have to ask. I'm still not seeing what I came for. <laughs> well, I'm standing here waiting to be helped, and I'm actually reading the signs, like for real reading them. And I realized that there is actually tiramisu here, okay? Apparently there was like a big old thing of tiramisu right here. But this is all I need. I don't need anything crazy. So this is what we're gonna get today. This is a win for place one. Hi, can I have a slice of tiramisu? Yeah, that's fine. Thank you. 
we have our tiramisu. This was a win for place one and I'm so excited. Now we're off to place two, which is Olive Garden. I really feel like they're gonna have it there. Like I said, it was on the menu and plus I'm feeling lucky. So <laughs> I'll let you know when I get to Olive Garden. I honestly don't think I'm gonna be able to eat all of this. Armani, <laughs> yeah. A R M A N I. I just want to place an order for tiramisu. Yeah, that's it. Just left Olive Garden and I got my tiramisu. Olive Garden's a little, a little slid to the side, but <laughs> uh, hopefully this is gonna be bomb. You know, whenever it looks ugly, usually it tastes the best. So since your girl feeling lucky today, I decided to stop by my local Kroger to see if they have tiramisu. So we gonna see what we find in here because you know we feeling lucky. But to be honest, it ain't luck, it's the Lord. <laughs> Thank you, Jesus. Do y'all have tiramisu here? I think they're out of here. You think so? Yeah, they don't have any pancakes or slices over there. Okay. Yeah, they don't have any pancakes. Okay. Yeah, they don't have any pancakes. They don't have any pancakes. Right there to help me find some tiramisu. Y'all couldn't find it over here, but... <laughs> the Lord is on my side today. I done found this. Tiramisu, they all look different, which is crazy. But since they all look different, I'm wondering, do they taste the same? Thank you. It pays to be a Kroger Plus customer because I done got 50% off my tiramisu. Praise God, praise God. So y'all, we're back at home. We're back at the place where the magic happens. So our hunt for tiramisu today was so successful. I ended up only really, to be honest, I only thought that I was gonna be able to get the one from Olive Garden. I was hoping that I was gonna get the one from H-E-B as well, but I did not know that I was gonna be able to walk into Kroger and be able to find tiramisu. I hope that it tastes good. I really don't want it to taste bad. I literally went on a hunt to find it and I need for it to taste good, okay? Especially since Kelly raves about it. She says it's delicious. So I need to be, I need for it to be delicious, okay? Not I already spent my money on it. So I also need for it to be delicious because of that reason as well. But <laughs> let's get into what they look like. So this one right here is the very first tiramisu I picked up. Um, honestly, when I look on the internet, this is not what a traditional tiramisu would look like. But apparently this is tiramisu. Um, this right here is typically what a traditional tiramisu would look like. Um, this one's a little bit more messier, but y'all know the ugly ones always taste good. Um, I'll have, uh, what a tr traditional tiramisu, um, would look like on the screen. I'll put that right here on the side. Um, but this one is the last one I got. I got this one from Kroger. So we have... H-E-B, Olive Garden, and Kroger. And this one, this one, it's layered just like the first one. Um, it looks more similar to the first one. The only thing I'm worried about is, like I said, when you see the traditional ones, you see that they have like a cocoa powder on top. I'm wondering how come the two on the ends don't have the cocoa powder on top. Also got me some orange juice to drink in between um, slices and I got me some water on this side. So I'm looking on the internet right now and apparently tiramisu is a coffee flavored Italian dessert. Um, it's made up of lady fingers dipped in coffee. So apparently the lady fingers are a cookie. So when you look it up, they'll say it's a biscuit. It's like a British biscuit, but you know, overseas and like the UK and England and stuff like that, um, a cookie is called a biscuit. Um, apparently the coffee is espresso shots. That's what it's dipped in, espresso. Um, it also says it's layered with a whipped mixture of eggs, sugar, and mascarpone cheese. And it's flavored with cocoa. So I guess that's why they have the cocoa powder on top. Like I said, that's why it's, I felt like it's a little weird. Those other two, they don't have the cocoa powder on top, but 
we're still gonna try it and we're still gonna see which one we like the best. Okay, y'all, we're here at the taste portion. We're about to see what this stuff tastes like. I'm excited. I'm ready. I've been ready all day. Okay, so this is the one that I got from H-E-B, so let's go ahead and taste it. Okay. I can taste the espresso in it. I can t I can honestly taste the espresso. And I like how the sponge is. I don't know if this is supposed to be the lady fingers, but it don't taste like a cookie. It tastes like a cake. So it tastes like like a sponge cake kind of. Mm -hmm. It don't really taste like like a cookie, you know what I'm saying? But like it tastes like a sponge cake and it, it tastes good. I actually really like it. But I, I can taste espresso, so if you're a coffee lover, this will be a good thing for you. Maybe this is like the remix or something. I don't see like the lady fingers, like the biscuits that they were talking about, the cookies. So maybe they substituted maybe they substituted it for a sponge cake. I don't know, but it's I think it's delicious. It's actually pretty good. I've taken like more than just one bite. <laughs> so this is the one that I got from H E B. I think it's pretty tasty. So as of now, this is the first one. So we're gonna give it a I'm not gonna do a one out of ten, but we're just gonna do a one out of three. So the one that I like the most, the one that's in the middle, and the one that I like the least. This first one. So I actually, I actually really like this one. Now on to the second one. This is the one that I got from Olive Garden. Like I said, this one is the one that's supposed to look. Come on, focus, baby. I don't want to focus, but this is the one that's supposed to look more like the traditional tiramisu cake y'all i don't want to focus it's okay it's okay y'all know what it looked like um right off the bat i can kind of see the lady fingers in there whenever you look at like the traditional ones online they have like the cookies like the little biscuits the lady fingers in there it's not like a sponge cake so maybe this one will taste more like what an, an actual tiramisu cake would taste. Okay, y'all ready? <laughs> number two. Okay, so right off the bat, I can tell that this one isn't as sweet as the first one. Um. I can't really taste the espresso as much as I could on that one. Hmm. I don't know. I guess it's because I was hoping that I would like this one more because it resembled what a traditional tiramisu is supposed to look like, but I don't know how I feel about it to be honest. I'm taking like a bunch of bites because I'm trying to like really feel the tiramisu vibe. Mm, I think, I think the first one, I think I like the first one more. Yeah, I think I like the first one more. Even though that one looked more like what the tiramisu traditionally look like. I don't know, maybe I like the sweetness in the first one. I just, like that one was actually more flavorful to me. That's what I feel like. I feel like that one was more flavorful. So number one is still number one and number two is number two. So we're gonna try the last one and see where that one's gonna rank. This is number three. I got this one from Kroger. So this is what this one looks like. This one looks like the sponge cake, like the first one. It doesn't have the lady fingers, like the second one. 
but it has like a sponge cake all right so <laughs> let's try the last one i feel like this i don't drink coffee but i feel like that me tasting the espresso in it i'm like i'm gonna be hyper and i don't know if i'm gonna be going to bed tonight like i feel like i'm gonna be like <laughs> you know but anyway let's try the last one I have to look at it to like get the vibe. It needs to talk to me, you know? I can say that the sponge in this one, the sponge cake is a little bit more softer than the first one. But I don't know. This one is good as well. Looks like a tie between the first one and the last one. I don't really know. So, hold on. We have to pick a winner, though. Okay. So, I'm trying the first one again. It just has a lot of flavor, y'all. Like, it's like more flavorful. I don't know. Now we're trying the, the last one. We're trying the Kroger one. So yeah, that's, what, that's, that's who's the winner. We're gonna say the Kroger one is number one because I just feel like it's the perfect blend of all of the components. The HEB is the second one. We're gonna rank that as number two because I mean, it's very flavorful, but I feel like over time that will be too much. And I don't know how much, like if I buy one of these again, like will I get tired of eating it? I feel like the Kroger one, I won't get tired of eating it. Olive Garden, it's the least, my least favorite. And I, it's number three. I feel like it's number three because it just wasn't a showstopper. It wasn't as good as the other ones. Like, I just like the flavor just wasn't there. And I don't know if it's because it came from the restaurants. The two that I like the most came from the grocery store, it came from the bakery at the grocery store. So they probably had more time to make the tiramisu you know what i'm saying and i don't know where olive garden got their tiramisu they could have got it shipped um to them it could have came frozen and they had to throw it out i don't really know i don't think they made it themselves but it wasn't it wasn't the best like it, it honestly wasn't so that's all we have for today folks thank you for spending time with your girl going on a little adventure i took y'all outside gave y'all some fresh air so y'all don't have to be cooped up in the house all the time but i do appreciate y'all for kicking it with me today i hope y'all come back next time to see me in the next video make sure you go ahead and like the video make sure you comment and subscribe to the channel if you've gotten this far i thank you so much for watching and i'll see you guys in the next video peace hey y'all i just wanted to say that i really enjoy doing this and I thank everybody who like actually <laughs> watches my videos because it takes a lot of time it takes a lot of effort to do and I don't know if people understand that you know what I'm saying um it's also like therapy to me because I don't really you know I don't really talk to many people I don't really have like friends I mean I have friends but I don't really like have friends that I'm like, hey girl, guess what happened? Da -da -da -da. Like I only really talk to two people and they're like their family. So like they don't count, you know, it's, so it's like my sister and my cousin. So <laughs> they don't really count. It's just them two I talk to, but like, like I don't really have actual friends. So 
it's like my therapy so like if i need to have girl chat or like whatever i want to talk about if i want to be weird if i just want to be me i can just come on here and turn my camera and you know do whatever i want to do you know <laughs> so it kind of just helps me i guess learn myself um because sometimes in this life you kind of try to go through this world and try to figure out who you are and you know in the beginning stages you don't really know who you are um and i feel like being on here will probably help me figure out who i really am who is armani okay who am i but <laughs> I thank y'all so much for even watching this portion because this is like after the video's over this is like some extra like side note type of ish you know <laughs> but I'm really trying to figure out who I am I'm trying to figure out what my purpose is in this world because you know a lot of the times people are like are you going to school are you gonna do this why don't you just go to nur do nursing why don't you i'm like i don't want to do none of that stuff y'all talking about okay like i don't want to do none of it and, like for real i don't <laughs> um i do feel like i want to do this um this actually makes me happy it helps me um tap into my creative gene because i honestly feel like i'm a creative person i feel like over the years i put that on the back burner and I, that's probably why i felt lost and it's probably why i felt like i didn't know who i was for a very long time um but this will help me tap into my true self and i thank you for watching i thank you okay i'm gonna go now <laughs> Mm-hmm. <laughs>